Sometimes I look in the mirror in the morning and go, who are you? I tell you, the greatest honor a jockey can have in thoroughbred horse racing is to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. There's only one female in the Horse of Fame, Hall of Fame. She's right here. No clapping. You, you can wave your hands in the air. And Thanks, you guys. Hey, Julie Thank Pro. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only, uh, you know, for a jockey to win a thousand races is a big deal. There's only a few, two thousand, there's less. Three thousand, there's less. This lady has won over 3,700 races. I mean, you know, ooh, yeah. that's, that's pretty darn good. And two of my most fun were in California, and I got to win the Pacific Classic. I took you, I stomped on your line, yeah, probably. Yeah, man, nice. Go on with it. She rode a pretty handy hide named Candy right here, gave him the A race out here, and uh, he's a Pacific Classic champion, and her name is in the history book here at Del Mar forever. And I will tell you one other personal thing, too. I had the pleasure of working with this lady for a whole season here in 2003, and I work with the jocks, and some of the jockeys are very good to work with, and some are a little difficult to work with. Julie Crone, I'd say, Julie, I got a TV crew coming at 7.15 tomorrow morning. They'd like to shoot some stuff with you in the paddock. At 7.14 and 50 seconds, Julie Crone would come walking into the paddock. Timing is important to a jockey. Every single time. <laughs> Get him right Julie on the wire. Julie was the best. <laughs> Julie was rock solid, and boy, you love to work with people who honor their commitments and are there. And on top of it, when she get in front of that camera, she was a star. This is a good lady to work with, and we're delighted to have her retiring and living in this area and coming back and hanging around with us. Listen, if anybody has any, you know, Julie raised an interesting point here that I think is going to be key with the poly track, and that's the kickback factor. Now Julie can testify to this a whole lot better than I, but riding racehorses out there on, Ouch. on dirt racetracks, horses extend that hoof out and come back here, and when they come back, they're hurling stuff. Yeah. They're hurling dirt, and sometime when that track pulls up, they're hurling little pellets like this. Feel like bullets oh, or it's rocks? A, it or... feels like punching sometimes. There, there you go. You'd be like getting punched, and I was always... You have to, in the morning, sometimes, um, I was, I got on a lot of horses for Mandela, and he would train a horse. You have to actually have a horse experience the feeling of the dirt kicking back. So he would train, like, two horses in the front, and then a young horse would be in the back to get the dirt to kick back on their legs. The first time you do it, you do it, like, really close like this, so only the legs are getting the dirt on it. And the horse would, like, you know, go like this with their legs. And he'd be like, oh, wow, come on, put your feet down. And they'd be like, okay, I'm used to it now. And then you pull them back a little bit more, and then it hits their chest. Like, you can see the dirt kind of kick up behind the horses a little bit. Well, if it was not the poly track, it flies really far. And it also, as it flies, the light dirt comes out. And as it goes farther, the pebbles or a rock once in a while would stay. And so a racehorse would have to get used to that. And so they would jump around. And, and like, sometimes if you have a baby and you're only going five furlongs, well, a baby horse, like a, you know, a first-time starter <laughs> that hasn't been schooled, and you break out of the starting gate. Let's say you just break a step slow or something. The horse just spends the whole first eighth of a mile. I have to put this down for a second. Going like this. <laughs> and you have your feet in the stirrups and you're like pushing and your reins are on the back of the horse's neck and you have a handful of mane and you just know there's somebody up there that bet on your horse going, oh, why is she dropping so far back? <laughs> and you're like, I would like to be up closer, but the horse is like freaking out, you know, it's like jumping up and down and then they start to get used to it and then they settle and then they come running and the last part, I think the babies are going to have a lot easier time and the baby races are going to be more fun. Like I said, like a horse, it ends up being a better horse most often when they can come from off the lead. And obviously we know like, you know, champions don't run five furlongs, you know, the babies do. So it's going to be a stepping stone for horses. You might even see derby winners and horses that win Breeders' Cup races and just, it's just a lovely thing that you guys are doing here and it's just a really fun thing. And for me, I would be really looking forward to riding babies here. That would be one of my favorites. Julie.